Welcome back to The Simple Life. Today, we're exploring what it means to live in alignment by integrating our personal energies, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical, for growth and self-awareness. Let's start by opening the sacred circle together, creating a space for reflection, grounding, and presence. Let's begin by finding a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes if that feels right, or soften your gaze. Take a deep breath in. Hold for four counts. And slowly release. With each breath, let go of any tension that you may be carrying. Bring your attention to your breath. Feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest. The steady rhythm that brings you into the present moment. With each inhale, imagine breathing is calm, peaceful energy. With each exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you in this moment. As you continue to breathe, feel your body softening into relaxation. Notice any areas where you may be holding tightness, perhaps in your shoulders, your neck, or your back, and allow these areas to soften. Know that this time is for you, for you to reconnect, for you to reflect, and for you to explore your inner self. Let's set our intentions for today, to open ourselves to the idea of alignment, to reflect on our own personal energies to invite growth and balance into our lives. We're creating a safe, sacred circle where we can fully receive what's ahead, grounding ourselves in the presence while allowing space for transformation. Let's take one more deep breath in. and gently release. Our sacred circle is now open and we are ready to begin the journey of living in alignment. All right, so now that we've centered Let's dive into what it means to live in alignment and why it's essential for personal growth. When we talk about living in alignment, we're talking about a lifestyle where all parts of ourselves, our thoughts, emotions, actions, and spirit are working together in harmony. It's a state where we feel connected to our inner truth moving through life in a way that feels natural and authentic rather than forced or conflicted. Living in alignment doesn't mean that everything is perfect or that we never experience challenges. Instead, it's about knowing ourselves well enough to make choices that are true to who we are, even when things get tough. Alignment is a journey, not a destination, and it's something that we continuously work towards by integrating and balancing our personal energies. Each of us has four primary energies, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. Now each one plays a unique role 
in how we experience life. Let's go over these four unique roles. Spiritual energy is our connection to our purpose, our higher self, or whatever it is that we believe gives life meaning. When we've aligned spiritually, we feel guided, purposeful, and connected to something greater than ourselves. Emotional energy. Now this is our ability to feel and process emotions. Emotions are a big part of our growth. And when we're emotionally aligned, we can recognize, express, and work through our feelings without being overwhelmed or reactive. Mental energy. This involves our thought patterns, our beliefs, and our mindset. When our mental energy is balanced, we have clarity and focus, and we're able to approach life with a positive, open mindset rather than feeling stuck or limited in negative thoughts. Physical energy. Now this is the foundation of our well-being. It's how we care for our body, ensuring it has the rest, nourishment, and movement that it needs. When we're aligned physically, we have the energy and vitality to engage fully with life. These energies can work together in harmony, creating a sense of flow and alignment. However, if one or more of these are out of alignment, they are out of balance. If, for example, we're neglecting our physical health or we're suppressing emotions, this can lead to feelings of disconnection, fatigue, or even burnout. Living in alignment means being aware of each energy and learning to nurture and integrate them to create a balanced, fulfilling life. Throughout this episode, we'll explore how understanding and aligning these energies can support personal growth and self-awareness. When we integrate our spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical energies, we create a foundation for resilience, authenticity, and true transformation. All right, we're gonna dive into understanding our personal energies. Let's start with spiritual energy, the part of us that connects to our higher self, our purpose, and whatever we see as greater than ourselves. Spiritual energy is like an inner compass. It guides us towards meaning and fulfillment, giving depth to our experiences and a sense of direction to our lives. It's what makes us feel connected to our core essence. It helps us align with what truly matters to us. Spiritual energy can show up in different forms, depending on who we are and what we value. For some, it's a connection to faith or a higher power. For others, it could be the pursuit of personal growth creativity, or a feeling of purpose. Tuning into this energy often involves practices that quiet the mind and allow us to listen to that deeper part of ourselves, whether through meditation, time in nature, creative expression, or even journaling. These practices create a pathway to understanding who we are at our core and why we're here. When we're spiritually aligned, we feel guided and purposeful. 
like we're on the right path. It's a feeling of being at peace, even in uncertainty, because we trust that we're moving in the direction that's meant for us. However, when we're disconnected from our spiritual energy, life can feel chaotic or empty. Like we're just going through the motions without a deeper sense of purpose or connection. Living in alignment with our spiritual energy means making time for self-reflection and connecting with what we believe gives life meaning. This can be as simple as taking a few quiet moments each day to listen to our inner voice or as intentional as setting aside time for the practices that reconnect us to our purpose. By regularly engaging with our spiritual energy, we create a stronger, clearer connection to our higher self, allowing us to navigate life with more authenticity and inner peace. Now, let's dive into emotional energy, the part of us that connects with our feelings processes the full range of human emotions. Emotional energy is all about awareness and acceptance. Knowing how we feel, understanding why we feel that way, and allowing ourselves to experience those emotions without judgment. Our emotional energy plays a major role in how we respond to life. When we're emotionally aligned, we're able to process emotions as they arise, whether they're feelings of joy, sadness, anger, or even fear. We recognize that all emotions are valid and each one has something to teach us. This awareness helps us feel more balanced, less reactive, and better equipped to handle life's ups and downs. On the other hand, when we suppress or ignore our emotions, they can build up, leading to feelings of frustration, overwhelm, or even burnout. Unprocessed emotions can influence our thoughts, our actions, and our relationships often in ways we're not even aware of. By paying attention to our emotional energy, we give ourselves the space to experience and release what we're feeling, which allows us to move forward more freely. Aligning with our emotional energy doesn't mean we're always going to be in a positive state. We don't have to be, we're human. It means creating a safe space within ourselves to feel and process whatever comes up. This could be through practices such as journaling, talking with a trusted friend or therapist, or simply giving ourselves permission to sit with our emotions without needing to fix or change them right away. When we honor our emotional energy, we foster self-compassion and resilience. We learn to trust that we can handle whatever emotions arise. And this trust becomes a foundation for personal growth and healing. Living in alignment with our emotional energy is about embracing the full spectrum of our feelings understanding that they're all part of the human experience and a powerful source of inner wisdom. All right, let's talk about our mental energy. The energy of our thoughts, beliefs, and one's mindset. Mental energy shapes how we see ourselves, how we interpret the world around us how we approach challenges. It's the part of us that creates meaning, establishes beliefs, and forms patterns of thinking 
that influence nearly every aspect of our lives. When our mental energy is balanced and aligned, we experience clarity, focus, and a sense of calm in our thoughts. We approach life with a positive, open mindset, viewing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. Aligned mental energy helps us create thought patterns that support our goals and well-being, empowering us to make decisions that align with our true self. However, when our mental energy is out of balance, we can feel overwhelmed, stuck in negative thinking, or even disconnected from our inner truth. This can show up as self-doubt, limiting beliefs, or a constant cycle of overthinking. These patterns can cloud our perspective, making it tricky to feel confident and aligned in our lives. Living in alignment with our mental energy requires us to become mindful of our thought patterns and beliefs. Are they supportive of our growth? Or are they holding us back? Practices like meditation, affirmations, and challenging limiting beliefs can help us create a more empowering mindset. Journaling is also a powerful tool for reflection on our thoughts, helping us notice any patterns that may need shifting and bringing us closer to our authentic self. When we honor our mental energy, we're actively choosing to cultivate a mindset that fosters growth, self-acceptance, as well as resilience. This not only supports our alignment with ourselves, but also creates a mental foundation for navigating life with purpose and clarity. By aligning ourselves with our mental energy, we empower ourselves to see possibilities, to make intentional choices, and approach life with a mindset of openness and curiosity. Okay. Lastly, let's explore physical energy, the foundation of our overall well-being. Physical energy is all about how we care for and connect with our body. It includes everything from nutrition and exercise to rest and movement, as well as being in tune with the signals our bodies give us. Our physical energy support and sustains us, allowing us to fully engage in life and pursue our goals with vitality. When we're physically aligned, we feel energized, balanced, and resilient. We're able to respond to the needs of our body with compassion and awareness, recognizing that taking care of ourselves physically is not just about health, but about honoring the vessel that carries us through life. Aligned physical energy gives us a solid foundation to pursue our goals and engage in our passions without constantly running on empty. On the latter, when we neglect our physical energy, whether it be by not getting enough sleep, ignoring the need for movement, or not listening to what our body is trying to tell us, we often experience fatigue, stress, and a general sense of imbalance. This disconnection can affect our mental, emotional, and even our spiritual well-being. Our body is a powerful communicator, and when we're out of sync physically, It can be a sign that we need to slow down, check in, and prioritize self-care. Living in alignment with our physical energy 
doesn't have to mean intense workouts or restrictive diets. It's about creating a routine that supports our individual needs, whether that be taking a morning walk or mindful eating or simply taking the time, making the time to rest when needed. It's about listening to what our bodies need and respecting those needs as a part of a holistic approach to alignment. When we take care of our physical energy, we're not just nourishing the body. We're creating a stable, resilient base that supports our growth in all areas of life. By aligning with our physical energy, we ensure that we have the strength and the vitality to live fully and engage deeply in our journey of personal growth. Okay, we're gonna dive into integrating these energies. Now, the foundation of integrating our spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical energy starts with self-awareness. Self-awareness is like a check-in with ourselves, a moment where we pause and pay attention to each of these energies and how they're showing up in our lives. Regularly checking in with our energy types allows us to see where we're aligned, where we might need more support, and what areas require adjustments, if any. It's a simple but powerful practice that can guide us back into balance whenever we start to feel disconnected or overwhelmed. For example, a self-awareness checking could look like this. Ask yourself, how am I feeling spiritually right now? Am I connected to my purpose? Am I honoring my beliefs and my sense of meaning in life? Then move forward to your emotional energy. What emotions are present? Am I processing them? Or am I holding on to something that needs to be released? For mental energy, consider what thoughts have been occupying my mind lately. Are they supportive? Or am I getting stuck in negative or limiting patterns? And finally, check in with your physical energy. How is my body feeling? Am I listening to its needs for rest, movement, and nourishment? By taking a few minutes each day or even each week to reflect on these areas, we cultivate a deeper awareness of ourselves and our energy. Over time, this self-awareness becomes a habit and we start noticing imbalances before they become overwhelming. Self-awareness empowers us to make choices that bring us back into alignment. And it's a reminder that our energy is something that we can manage, care for, and also nurture. Living in alignment isn't about having perfect balance all of the time. It's about developing an ongoing relationship with ourselves, listening to what each energy needs responding with compassion and care. Through self-awareness, we can integrate our energies in a way that supports our growth, helping us live with greater intention, clarity, and inner harmony. Another key to integrating our personal energies is mindfulness. Learning to be fully present in daily life and tuning into our inner signals. Mindfulness allows us to pause, observe, and truly listen to what's happening within us without 
judgment and without rush. By bringing mindfulness into our day-to-day activities, we create more space to respond to our needs, honor our energy, and adjust before imbalances arise. Being mindful means paying attention to subtle cues from our body, our mind, and our emotions as they arise. For instance, if we're physically tired, we may notice our body signaling the need for rest or gentle movement. Emotionally, mindfulness allows us to acknowledge feelings as they come up, rather than suppressing or ignoring them. On a mental level, mindfulness helps us become aware of our thoughts and shift them if they're unhelpful to us. And spiritually, Mindfulness can help create moments of reflection where we connect with our purpose and higher self. Practicing mindfulness doesn't require any complex tools or rituals. It's about consciously bringing our focus to the present moment, whether we're taking a walk, having a conversation, or even washing the dishes. One simple way to bring mindfulness into daily activity is to start by taking a few breaths whenever we feel our mind wandering. In those breaths, we can ask ourselves, what am I feeling right now? What does my body need? What thoughts are taking up my mental space? With regular mindfulness practice, we become more attuned to our inner signals. Instead of pushing through exhaustion, stress, or emotional discomfort, we can recognize these signals early and adjust in a way that nurtures our alignment. Being present and mindful helps us to integrate our energies naturally and fully, allowing us to move through life with greater awareness and authenticity. Another step in integrating our personal energies could be finding balance through intentional self-care. When we prioritize self-care across our emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical energies, we're actively nurturing each part of ourselves, creating a strong foundation for alignment and growth. Balance doesn't mean everything is perfectly equal all of the time. Instead, it's about recognizing and responding to the unique needs of each area as they arise. True balance comes from understanding that each of our energies needs care and attention. Emotionally, this can mean setting aside time to process feelings or seek support when we need it. Mentally, self-care might involve creating moments of stillness in a busy day or challenging negative thought patterns. Spiritually, balance might be making time for practices that connect us with our purpose and our higher self, like meditation or journaling. And physically, Balance is about listening to our body's needs, getting enough rest, moving regularly, and nourishing ourselves with healthy foods. Self-care in each area doesn't need to be complicated, nor does it need to be time-consuming. Small, consistent acts of self-care can have a powerful impact over time. It could be as simple as spending a few minutes each morning connecting with your breath, pausing during the day to check in with how you're feeling, or making space for reflection before bed. The goal is to create a lifestyle where you're regularly tending to all aspects of yourself instead of neglecting one energy while over-focusing on another. 
When we make balance a priority, we're giving each part of ourselves permission to thrive. Our spiritual energies stay connected. Our emotions remain flowing. Our mind is calm and our body is strong. Through self-care across all areas, we not only support our alignment, but also build resilience and inner harmony. Balance is not about perfection. Remember, it's about respecting our whole self and responding to life in a way that honors each energy. Okay, now we're gonna go into a personal example of myself moving from people-pleasing to self-love and balance. In the past, I found myself in a pattern of people-pleasing. I would give endlessly to others, often neglecting my own needs and well-being. My energy was focused outward, doing everything I could to support those around me. However, it came at a cost. Over time, I began to experience the consequences, feeling emotionally drained, financially strained, and often left feeling alone and lacking. I observed that when I shifted my mindset towards societal expectations, particularly the commitment to a traditional family dynamic, I often found myself caught in a recurring cycle of heartbreak struggle, and ultimately a sense of unfulfillment leading me to lose oneself. This was a moment when I realized I was out of alignment. I had been prioritizing others at the expense of my own energy, and I had allowed this imbalance to continue over and over again without recognizing my own role in it. Instead of seeing how my actions contributed to my challenges, I fell into a victim mindset, questioning why things always seem to end up this way. The shift began when I chose to walk away from this pattern and commit to self-love and balance. I started setting boundaries, learning to say no when necessary, and making space to prioritize my own emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical needs. By actively practicing self-care, I was able to create a healthier dynamic in my relationships. One where I could give, but also be open to receiving. I learned that self-love isn't selfish. It's essential for maintaining alignment and a sense of fulfillment. Through these changes, I was able to grow and experience a deeper sense of balance in my life. I realized that giving from a place of wholeness rather than depletion allowed me to show up for others in a way that was both sustainable and genuine. By integrating these energies, I transformed my experience from one of struggle to one of strength, self-respect, as well as alignment. All right, so how does this tie in to human design? Well, understanding my human design has provided me with a powerful roadmap to aligning my personal energies, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. As a manifesting generator with a 6-2 profile and sacral authority, I've learned to embrace the nuances of my design and lean into my strengths while also recognizing where I need to stay mindful to avoid falling out of alignment. As a manifesting generator, I've always been drawn to a wide range of interest in projects. For a long time, I saw this as a challenge. I felt pressure to quote unquote, 
pick a lane or follow a singular path that others would consider stable or successful. However, human design has taught me that my multi-passionate nature is a gift, not a flaw. I'm designed to have diverse interests, explore them all, and pivot when necessary. Now, instead of trying to fit into a single box, I embrace my dynamic energy, and I allow myself to follow what truly excites me. This alignment fuels my spiritual energy as I stay connected to my purpose and passion, making each day feel meaningful and inspiring. The 6-2 profile, known as the role model and hermit, has also been crucial in shaping my journey. The six line represents a three-phase life path. The first 30 years focused on learning through trial and error. The second phase devoted to reflection and integration. And the final phase, which is around 50, meant for guiding others with wisdom gained. In my early years, I struggled with setbacks and a sense of disconnection often feeling like I was moving forward without clear direction. Now that I'm in the reflective second phase, I recognize that those earlier challenges, they were a vital part of my growth. Instead of viewing past mistakes negatively, I now see them as stepping stones that have allowed me to develop resilience as well as wisdom. The Hermit, which is the second line, aspect of my profile brings an interesting duality while I'm naturally inclined to help and guide others I also need time alone to recharge and process I now honor this need by setting boundaries recognizing that solitude is essential for me to stay aligned without it I start to feel depleted and lose my sense of direction. And I've learned that my best insights and guidance come when I respect my need for quiet reflection. Sacral authority, now this is my inner guidance system. It's been another crucial piece in aligning my energies. My sacral gut response has taught me to trust my body's signals as I navigate life's decisions. In the past, I would overthink choices or look for external validations. This often led me down paths that weren't truly aligned with my higher self. Now, if a decision feels like a clear yes in my body, I trust it and I immediately move forward. If there is any hesitation or lack of clarity, I give myself permission to wait I will wait for as long as my body needs it. This practice of listening to my gut has helped me set boundaries, overcome people-pleasing tendencies, and prioritize decisions that support my well-being. Now, this is to not say that there haven't been times when I've fallen out of alignment by neglecting parts of my design. For example, People-pleasing tendencies would often lead me to ignore my own needs, exhausting my energy to meet others' expectations. As a result, I would feel emotionally drained, disconnected from my purpose, and even physically worn down. By understanding my manifesting generating nature and my sacral authority, it has helped me to recognize when I'm overextending myself. Now, I'm more intentional about setting boundaries and honoring my own energy, even if it means disappointing others. Another challenge has been balancing my need for action with the patience required to allow things to unfold. Manifesting generators by nature often want to jump into action. 
However, I've learned that balance means waiting for a genuine sacral response rather than forcing myself to make impulsive moves. By trusting my design and aligning with my natural flow, I'm able to navigate life with greater clarity, energy, and purpose. Human design has shown me that alignment isn't about fitting into someone else's mold. It's about embracing who I am at my core. By understanding and honoring my design, I've been able to integrate my personal energies in a way that fuels my growth, strengthens my resilience, and allows me to live with authenticity and inner harmony. As we wrap up today's episode, I'd like to leave you with some reflection questions to help you explore your own alignment. Take some time with these, allowing yourself to look inward and gain insight into the harmony or perhaps the imbalance with your personal energies. You might even jot down your responses or revisit these questions when you need a moment of self-reflection. All right, the first question. Are there areas of your life where you feel out of alignment? Take a moment to identify where you might be overextending, neglecting, or feeling disconnected. Are there parts of yourself that you may be ignoring or prioritizing over others? What steps can you take to integrate your spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical energies? Consider small, meaningful actions in each area. How can you connect with your spiritual purpose? Honor your emotions, maintain a supportive mindset, and nurture your body. What's one small change you can make this week? How might understanding your own energy bring more harmony to your life and to your growth? Reflect on what you've learned about your unique energies and how listening to them might bring a sense of balance. How could honoring your true self open doors to new insights relationships, or even a greater sense of fulfillment. These reflections are tools to help you live in alignment, creating space for growth, self-awareness, and peace within. There's no right or wrong way to answer these questions. Simply listen to what arises within you. Thank you kindly for joining me on this journey today. Remember, alignment is a practice and each step you take brings you closer to a life that resonates with who you truly are. Before we fully close out this episode, let's take a moment to close the sacred circle we opened together, sealing in the insights and reflections that we've shared. Let's find a comfortable position once more, and if you can, gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Hold for a few moments. And slowly release. Feeling any remaining tension in the body begin to melt away. With each exhale, imagine yourself grounding, bringing all the knowledge and insight from today into a calm, centered space within you. Now let's visualize the sacred circle gently drawing inward, sealing with gratitude and a renewed sense of alignment. 
thank yourself for showing up. It's important to show yourself some gratitude and some grace. Thank yourself for taking this time to explore your personal energies and growth. Know that this space of alignment and self-awareness is something you can return to whenever you should need it. As we close, I'll leave you with this empowering affirmation. I honor the unique energies within me. I am open to growth, grounded in purpose, and aligned with my true self. I trust that each step that I take brings me closer to living in harmony with who I am meant to be. Take one last deep breath in. Fully release. When you're ready, gently open your eyes, carrying forward the energy and intention of this experience into the days ahead. Thank you again for joining me on The Simple Life today. Embrace your journey of alignment. And remember that living in harmony is a process, one that unfolds beautifully with each step that you take. Until next time, stay true to yourself, stay present, and keep embracing your unique path.